When I recommend preteen vaccines, I recommend all three of the vaccines that we intend to do the same way, basically. So here are three vaccines that we want to do. I do give a little bit of information about each vaccine because that's my informed consent, just like when I talk about infant vaccines. So I can talk about all three preteen vaccines in about a minute and have my informed consent done at the same time and kind of avoid the too much information thing. So this is how I present things to parents. Today, there are three vaccines that I'd like to do. The first one is the meningococcal vaccine, which prevents a very, very rare, but potentially very serious infection that could cause meningitis. And when it does, it's uniformly devastating and potentially really deadly. The second one prevents the HPV infection, which is extremely common. In fact, most of us get HPV in our lives and can go on to cause multiple different forms of cancers. That vaccine is given in a series of two. The second one would be given six to 12 months from now. And then the last one is the, the one that most people know about. That's the tetanus booster or the Tdap, which vaccinates against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, which is whooping cough. If your child gets whooping cough, they could have a bad cough for two or three months, which is not fun, but really the big reason that we vaccinate big kids and grown-ups against pertussis or whooping cough is to protect babies who could die from that. Do you have any questions about those? Usually parents don't. About 80% of parents say, okay, that makes sense. 